Android O's first developer preview didn't bring much to the table, but with its first update, we're getting to try out a lot more of what it has to offer. I'm Ben with 9to5Google, and this is what's new in Android O Developer Preview 2. So first things first, we're going to focus on the launcher, and one of the first things that you'll notice here is the addition of notification badges. Now like on iOS, these let you see that an app on your home screen has a notification, but a long press on the icon shows that notification. To get rid of it, simply swipe away the notifications for that app. Now along with that, the app shortcuts menu has been revamped with a new design that is also kind of similar to Apple's 3D touch menu. Now aside from the design, this menu also now contains a shortcut to the app's info page and any widgets it offers. Now Google's Pixel Launcher in Android O also now supports custom icon masks, which allow you to change any icon to a square, rectangle, cylinder, or squircle. Now oddly enough, it doesn't change apps that already have circular icons, but that could change by the time this is publicly released. Google has also slightly altered the color scheme of Android O in this preview compared to the last. It now has a new grayscale look instead of the previous all-white color scheme. Android O also introduces a new emoji library which ditches the blobs we've come to know for something a little more traditional. Personally, I'm not a fan, but it may grow on me over time. Now one of the big Android O features that is enabled in this preview is picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now while it takes a little bit of tinkering to get working properly, this feature works with YouTube and Duo in this update and it's fantastic. I can't wait to see it expand as we go forward as well. Now lastly, Android O adds support for smart text selection. Now this automatically selects portions of text that are generally grouped together such as phone numbers or addresses and can even suggest which app to open that with. It's very cool to say the least. But for now, that's basically it. We've got a lot more over on 9to5google.com regarding Android O and this week's Google I.O. 2017. We also have a constantly updated post for anything and everything that's new in this developer preview. A link to that is in the description below. I've been Ben for 9to5google, thanks for watching.